This is one of our famous uh, museum, Moser, in Carlo Bari. Take a look, guys, and you can see how they make those bases, those beautiful glasses, the decorations for your house, like those kind. It's amazing. Take a look. So, guys, this video was taken August 16, 2018. It was my birthday, and I have Helen with me. She's from London. She's my friend from London, and this is our first time together to travel. We went to Prague and Carlby Bar. We stayed for two days. Take a look, guys. One, two, actually three days. Take a look, guys. That I could find those people basically here are C-pop and a lot of movie stars in Korean. I love this guys. It's kind of my you know decorations. It's creations of legendary founder Ludwig Moser to the latest collection which are still handcrafted guys. So we took a tour and visited the museum at the Moser Glasswork in Carlobi Barry, you know. That place was discovered more than 160 years of history of the glass works from the oldest pieces created to contemporary collections as well. You know, I love contemporary. I love these guys. The original company Moser Glasswork, founded in 1857 by Ludwig Moser and Carl Vivari, called Carlsbad, at the time was a glass workshop initially devoted to polishing and engraving glass blocks. Only later did the company begin designing and making its own art glass products. Engraving blanks from which mirrors, snaps, and hearts are performed by the workshop in the early years. At the Vienna International Exhibition of 1870, he was awarded a medal for merit. That same year, he was appointed exclusive supplier of glass to the Emperor Franz Joseph. He would win numerous other awards in the coming years, including medals at the World Exhibitions in Paris in 1879, 1889, and 19. And the World Exhibition in Chicago in 1890. Ludwig took over a glass factory in Paris, German, now part of Carl Vivari, in 1893 to create a full service club, glasswork employing 400 people, later under the name Glassworks Ludwig Moser and Son Zig. Okay, so there you go, where his sons Gustav and Rodolf also work. In 1904, Moser received a warrant to supply the imperial court of the Emperor of Austria, and four years later became supplier to Edward VII. In 1915, the company exhibited at the Panama Pacific International Exposition and was again awarded a medal with Louis Comfort Tiffany and Charles Total to serve due to the outstanding quality of the hot glass applied decorations on colored bohemian glass are its beautiful art nouveau. Glass pieces were produced mostly with surface decoration with natural themes and super coming glass. They also used the Ikin tip grabber technique employing a sharp angular body deeply cut into the form of entangled flowers. Following the death of his father in 1916 Leo Moser took over the direction and the company expanded significantly resulting in the recognition by a grand prize award at the Paris International Exhibition of Decorated Art in 1925. They also exhibited in London, Belgium, Italy, and Vienna. The Art Norbu designs of heavily engraved lilies and the pop series from, nine, from C1914 were some of the most notable pieces, several cheaper, lower quality the designs were produced by other companies in between 1927 and 1933. Two American glassmakers made copies, calling them Woodland and Deerwood. Shame on them. Moser was one of the few Zikulus Bakian glassmakers to sign their pieces. Wow. The depression of the early 1930s accepted its toll, reduced its staff to 240. Eventually, Leo resigned from the company in 1932. Later, Having sold their company shares in the company in 1938, they fled the country after areas of Zikuslubakia, where annexed. The city of Kalibari was occupied by Nazi wow, Germany in 1938. After the Munich Agreement and the family fled the country during this anti Semitic period because of its international reputation. The company was able to retain some independence during the communist era while the rest of the Zik glass industry was nationalized in 1948. Glass of Kings in Kings Among Glass, the slogan Moser, the King of Glass, 
originated in January 1869 when the director of the Vienna Museum for Art and Industry, Rodolf Ettelberger, issued a certificate about the perfection of Ludwig Moser's glass. Its quality was also confirmed by the medal from 1873 Vienna World's Fair. This year, Moser became an official supplier of glass to Vienna for the Australian Imperial Court of Franz Joseph I since 1901 for the Persian Shah Muzaffar Adin Shah Qajar and from 1908 for King Edward VII of England. Wow, really? Later also for Pope Pius VI, the Turkish Sultan Abdul Hamid II and the King of Portugal and his wife Maria Pia of Savoy. At the name, Moser already had a sales office in New York, London, Paris, and St. Peter's, Peter Bird, that's in Russia, right? Yeah. In the year, year 1947, Zikus Lubakian President Edvard Benz gifted a monogram's splendid set to future Queen of England, Elizabeth II, woohoo, my queen, as a wedding gift to her and her husband, Prince Philip. Wow! In 2007, the anniversary of the Queen's Diamond Wedding, more cups and a ball were added to the set. Offered to oh, the we Queen did that, uh, the Zik actually, president, in Prague, Akula. so uh, I there celebrated my birthday August 16th, and actually in the hotel in Prague, then we went to Carlby Barry and celebrated my birthday as well there, to Grand Hotel Pope. So uh, make sure you ask the hotel, uh, you take this tour, it's beautiful, it's whole day, guys. It's really, really beautiful, it's worth it. The, for sure, they're going to take you to the Moser because that's the famous. It's contemporary classes, basis, you name it, you know? And it's uh, they will stop at the Carl, uh, Carlby Barry Grand Hotel Poop. You know, I still remember it as well. Uh, that's very famous, with Queen Latipa, right? So uh, there you go, and don't forget to uh, take the tour, okay? Uh, the car will take an hour and 35 minutes, one way to go there. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Prague is close to Vienna. Don't forget to follow and like my vision fashion. And Vilma Vito Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos to see beautiful places, guys.